Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for the 70th Annual Creative Arts Emmys, Day One. All right, I was directed to your series thanks to Lainey Gossip. Do you know Lainey Gossip? Yes, that's yes. amazing. I'm so honored. <laughs> and I was like, what is this Emmy for Megan thing? And then I went and watched the whole series. I just wound up binge watching it. That's huge. You're, uh, I will know when I look at it that one of those views is you. So yeah, you. absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, what I love is how you break down the Emmy rules. Um, were you really sitting there last year going, well, this is totally possible. I swear to you that everything that I say in that series is exactly how it happened. I looked into the requirements for short form series and it's like you have to make six episodes they have to be under 15 minutes long and you have to get them up by April 27th and I was like I can do that I know when April 27th is I can definitely make something short so here I am all right how about those billboards we saw all over Los Angeles I genuinely was like this might be my one shot to win an Emmy I'm going to give it everything I have so I purchased out of pocket three billboards in Los Angeles uh, and I think two of them are still up. They have my face plastered right near the Grove. And as I pass it, I keep thinking, oh my God, I made it before I remember I bought them. So. I paid for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, obviously you got yourself the nomination, so you ran a brilliant Emmys campaign Thank so you. far. <laughs> if you wind up with the Emmy, you are a genius. I might drop dead. I seriously, like, and, and to be fair, I truly want the Emmy because I, have so much respect for it and a lot of my friends who have them I am you know a little jealous of them it seems really cool and fun if I accomplish this I feel like it would have been the most perfect project and I might just like quit show business so we'll see if you want me to quit give me the Emmy today yeah, exactly what would retirement look like that's what I wanted I would just look at my Emmys all day polish them maybe move them around that's all it would be are you okay if you only wind up with one versus two instead of bookends yeah you know I'm not greedy I just want that one trophy that, you know, and it's called an Emmy for Megan. I didn't name my series two Emmys for Megan, which maybe I should have thought ahead a little bit. So it might even be better if I only win one. Can we go next to like an Oscar for Megan, a Golden Globe for Megan? I've gotten the bug of the award season now, and I am, I can state very seriously, unless I retire, I will be trying for an EGOT for Megan. I'm so ready for this. And I gotta tell you what I love about it is that it's self-made. You thought of, thought of an ingenious idea and you did it and you got all the way here. So you should be really proud. Thank you so much. That's very nice to hear. Of course. No, I love hearing like that great Hollywood story. This yeah. is a good one. So I'm rooting for you tonight. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and in the comments below, let us know who you're rooting for this year at the Emmys.